Hi everyone. Uh, today, what I'm going to talk about is how to type in Punjabi. So how to get it basically up and running on your computer, and then uh, like what the actual keyboard layout is like, and uh, yeah, just getting you up and running with that so that you can actually use the real Gurmukhi alphabet instead of typing in English. All right. So here we go. Uh, you go down to Start menu, open up Control Panel. And you go down to uh, regional language settings there. Now I'm using Windows uh, Windows Vista here, but Windows 7 is similar. So here you see this keyboards, and you open here are all the keyboards that I currently have installed. So you can see English, Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi. You click on that button, and look, you've got all of these languages ready to be basically enabled because uh, Windows. Vista and Windows 7 come with all these. If you've got Windows XP, you may need to have your Windows disk ready to install them. You see, you just check the boxes like I have checked, and that actually uh, installs the keyboard itself. Here are the key commands for switching between what uh, you're using to type. So you press Alt Shift and you'll switch from English then to like Punjabi, then back to English if you press Alt Shift again. It's really simple, really uh, easy process. So let me show you an example here. Yo. There you go, yo again, and badly. Ah, there you go, Urdu here, and here, Punjabi. So, yeah, thanks. It's it's really easy, uh, really easy to figure out here, but actually typing in Punjabi you may find a bit more difficult. So here is the actual layout. Uh, I'll give you the link here. You can click on to get to this website. Now you see what you have is the basic keys here, right? When you're holding Shift and when you're holding control alt I just think you have to hold alt that's all I do and uh, so from that point you know here's all the basic thing as I said when you're not pressing anything you've got all these uh, vowel matra signs which you know if you can read Hindi or Punjabi you add on to the consonants to uh, give a different vowel sound uh, it's pretty logical the layout here is according to the Indian style here's the uh, actual full vowel signs down here and some alternate characters uh, everything here is laid out according to the corresponding kind of sounds in the Punjabi alphabet. Okay, not English. Down here you've got some of these dotted signs. These are these uh, Perso-Arabic sounds like kha, za, ra, these things. But you don't actually have to use these keys. Uh, you can use another sign which actually just adds a dot onto any letter, this one here. So you don't actually need to use these uh, as custom characters. Urda is necessary for alt, that's what you're going to have to use a lot of so there you go I mean the one problem is punctuation you don't have all the punctuation keys so let's like type a question here right so like you know key hala right you want to add a question mark you got to press alt shift and switch back to English because look you can do Punjabi it's not a question mark so there you go that's what you got to do all right now you may be wondering how you can learn the layout and become a quick typer um, if you don't have keyboard stickers. Well, I showed you that uh, layout and you got the link for that, so you can take a look at that at first. But for getting fast, it's all about practice. That's really it. Um, you just, you know, sit back, turn on some music, and uh, get some sample sentences and type them out for 15 minutes, you know, twice a day, and within three, four days, you'll be typing. I mean, not extremely quickly, but, you know, you'll get natural instinct for where the keys are. So now you uh, you know how to type. My next video is going to be about learning to read and write. For anyone who doesn't know Gurmukhi, I'll talk a bit about Shamukhi, which is basically Bandabi written uh, with the Arabic type script, but it's going to be focused on Gurmukhi, so that's what most of you guys want to learn, I think, so that's what we'll focus on. Uh, I'll give some tips and all that that are useful for me. Next, I'm going to talk about how I learned Punjabi, like my own experiences in Punjab, my own history, how I got to where I am now. Uh, and the third video there, pronunciation tips. My pronunciation is not perfect. Uh, no one can get a native accent in a foreign language. Uh, well, some can, but that's actually like a developmental talent. You know, your brain's not supposed to work that way after you're a child, but some people are lucky. Uh, but I'll give you like tips for an English speaker because there's a lot you can learn just by thinking about how your tongue is moving in your mouth. So. Uh, <laughs> Basically, yeah, uh, you should be thinking about your tongue. It's important. And I'll talk all about that. So, 
All right, I'll upload my next video in a few days. See you guys soon.